All right, my next guest takes on Gregor Gillespie at UFC Utica in the co-main event. He is Vince from Hell Pichel. Vince, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, good. I just did a uh, sparring round, and I stopped at Rev Gear to pick up some gear, some shit guns, some shirts, and uh, now I'm heading home. Awesome. And uh, you train, go to school, and have a job, correct? Yeah, I'm an electrician in the union, and I'm going to school for the electrical in the union, and then uh, I train in front of UFC. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how do you manage all that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know, honestly. Um, at times, it's really hard, and sometimes my training suffers, or sometimes my work suffers, or sometimes my school suffers, but I do what I gotta do. Um, definitely not easy. It's super tough, and drains me emotionally and physically, but I do it. I don't know why sometimes, but I do it. And tell me, like, a typical day for you. Like, uh, do you ever have to do all three in one day? Um, no. If I have, uh... So it'll either be work in school or work in training, typically. Um, however, now I'm not working. Uh, I'm for TAP and Al Davis from TAP. Um, you should have Al. Al lets me take time off to train for fights now. So I've been off for uh, this training camp um, to prepare for this fight. Awesome, awesome. Well, a big fight coming up for you. In less than a month, you're taking on Gregor Gillespie in the co-main event at UFC Utica. Big spot for you being in the co-main. How excited are you? I'm super excited, man. Once I didn't realize I was the co-main, but once I found out I was on the poster, it just it put me from here to here. You know, like it, it raised my uh, my mental uh, awareness and, and overall just attitude uh, uh, drastically. So I'm super excited for it. Um, I'm excited to put on a show for the fans. Um, I'm looking to knock this dude out, knock his fucking head off, and get my fifty grand out of him. Nice, nice. And, and yeah, because this must be a great feeling. I mean, you had such a long layoff from the sport. And to come back, notch two big wins, and now get another undefeated prospect in Gillespie. Did you imagine that things would progress this fast for you when you came back? Honestly, yeah, a little bit. Because, um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of guys, especially in my weight class. And so there's a lot of adversity that i got to go through. But... Um, the, the way that I fight, you know, I know I'm an exciting fighter. I know people like to watch me fight. Um, I always put on a show for the fans. And, uh, you know, I'm a good fighter, you know. So I, I knew that the UFC would, would see me um, doing my thing and kind of try to push me a little bit. And I think that's what they're doing. I don't think they're going to either let any this fight determine, you know what I mean, not to make a break for either one of us because we're both on a four or five win streak. So I think after this fight, you know, either one of us could get a top ten guy or, you know, get close to making that title run. Awesome, and let's talk about the matchup. Uh, what do you think of Gillespie as an opponent? Have you watched his fights in the UFC, and have you been impressed by him? Yeah, I watched him. Um, he's, uh, I'm not too impressed by him, obviously, but uh, I, he's a good fighter. He's got a good wrestling pedigree, um, so i got to be wary of that. I'm practicing a lot of wrestling right now to, to defend him. And uh, I'm super confident in my ability. I think that his wrestling style of mixing with boxing is gonna is gonna allow me to really uh, excel in the fight. I feel like my style is, is gonna be gonna be hell for him. You know what I mean? I don't feel like he's gonna he's gonna really know how to deal with me. Uh, my strength, my punching power, and my ability to uh, fall and roll on him. And are you a kind of guy that normally watches a lot of tape? Uh, do you break it down on all that with your coaches, or do you let them do that? I see. What do you say? Sorry. I said, but I am watching film on him, and I am studying him because I mean, let's be real, the UFC and everyone's a killer. So you know, I mean, you can't be, you can't be stupid at this level. You gotta, you gotta take every advantage you can. So that's what I'm doing. 
Definitely. And have you had a specific focus this training camp? I mean, how do you usually go about things when you're preparing for a fight? Does it depend on the opponent or do you have a certain kind of training regimen every time? Uh, my training regimen is usually about the same. Um, however, depending on my opponent, it will depend on what I do more. So, Lefty is obviously more of a grappling type, so I'm doing a lot more grappling than I'm striking in this. But I'm not strengthening my strikes, you know what I mean? I do strike four days a week um, and the rest of the time. And then I do strike with my grappling. I'm doing uh, five, almost every day. So I have one day off during the week. I'm taking the day off. And other than that, I'll be either kick off either grappling or I'm doing both in that day. So um, it depends on the guy. But yeah, so for Greg, Gregor, I'm doing a little more wrestling, a little more grappling to uh, kind of cycle that of, of his. And then, uh, you know, working my stand up as well to, to force him into a boxing, kickboxing match with me, which is what I want. Now, nice. in in your last fight, you had a really entertaining back and forth war with Joaquim Silva. Uh, was it good to kind of get those fifteen minutes in because of the layoff previously? I mean, you had that nice knockout uh, when you first came back, and now having that three round war in your last fight was that good for you to? I know you don't believe in ring rust, so it's not about ring rust. But was it good to get like fifteen minutes of battle in? Uh, a little bit. I mean, me as a fighter, I I would love more than just having everybody quick. Yeah, and where do you feel like a win over Gillespie would put you? You said you feel like a win over him will give you a ranked opponent, yeah? I see, and Ally Quinta is a guy that you've talked about quite a bit, obviously, because you fought him on the Ultimate Fighter. And I know you're not going to look past Gregor, but I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, his performance ag against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Do you think he kind of uh, did better than what you thought he would have? Honestly, no. I, I feel like Al did exactly like I thought he was going to do. I thought Al would honestly do a little better with the striking. Mm -hmm. um, but I Cool, cool. And then back to your fight, you're, you're fighting Gillespie in his hometown. You've done it before when you fought Damian Brown in New Zealand. Do you pay attention to all that, or is it all the same when the cage door closes? Yeah, that's bullshit. A fight's a fight, you know what I mean? And if you think about it back in the day on the Warlord, you know what I mean? If you want to take over some of the land, you go, you go, you go, you go to him, you know what I mean? You mm -hmm. go to him, you take down his land in his hometown, so that's basically what I'm doing. Um, Cool, and this is your second fight in 2018, which was already a great start when, when you look forward. Do you have a goal in terms of how many fights, how many more fights you want to get in before the end of the year? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not sure
I'll say at least like one or two more if I could. Um, sky's the limit. If I'm healthy, I mean, shit, I'll fight every month if I can, honestly. Nice. It's just, uh, I, when I fought in the uh, fucking Zealand, I was trying to get another fight right away. I was trying to fight Staples Center. I was trying to, I was trying to get right back at it. Uh, but it just happened for me, so I, I kind of had to wait till January. But I found January now I'm getting this fight in June. So, you know what I mean? If they're picking up now, so I'm excited. But, you know what I mean? I'll fight as many times as I can. Um, like I said before, I want to go on a cowboy run. You know what I mean? I had a lot of time off, um, a lot of restrictions because of my life and just, uh, situational stuff that I couldn't really avoid. So I'm looking to kind of make up for a lot of time, so to speak. And there's that card, uh, UC 227 in LA. I'm sure you'd love to fight in California. I'll say, yeah, I do. I do a whole, you know, let me say it, I do, but I don't. Okay. So California's already trying to implement this law where you can only gain back so many, so much weight from your fight and weight. Um, and they're trying to get around that. And that's why I don't really like California because they want to have more fights than they can fit in there. Oh, shit, hold on. You thought of calling me right now. <laughs> hold on one second. Right. Oh, shit, I can't. I'll maybe I'll text him. One second. Let me text him real quick. No worries. Email me. Now. Email me. No worries, is this you said I want to come, come to your house and test you or what? Yeah, I'm actually surprised you called me now. You should have fucked away from like 7 in the morning. <laughs> well, uh, that's good at least. Uh, we were talking about, uh, you were talking about fighting in California, how uh, the law they had of putting back on weight. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, for California, I'm like, I'm a big boy, but like, I walk around 190 pounds, 195 pounds, and, uh, when, when I get out there fighting, I fight me, I'm usually 170 to 175. Um, I'll get myself down to 170 and then I drop my water from there. But they're trying to, you know, California's trying to implement it where I can only weigh 171 pounds the night of the fight, which kind of, I've never weighed that little for a fight, you know what I mean? Yeah. The lightest I've ever been in any of my fights after weighing, I think it's like 175, 174, 175. And the heaviest I've been is 180 to 185. So, uh, I mean, if that gives you any kind of any kind of measurement of kind of the size of me, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a part. But like, if California's going to really implement that and try to make me go up way fast, I don't even want to deal with California, honestly. Like, the state's full of spoiled little bitches, to be honest, at that time. And, and I don't like dealing with bullshit like that. I see, and, and yeah, because I want to ask you as well, uh, the early weigh-ins, obviously that wasn't there uh, when you before your layoff. What are your thoughts on the early weigh-ins? Do you like it or, or do you not like it? I kind of like it. Um, it's not time to wake up early and cut weight and just drain your body of, of everything that you don't want to drain it of. Mm -hmm. But I like it because, you know, I, I'll cut my weight, I'll be on weight maybe an hour or two, and then, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm able to go right back up to my weight. And then give us a little more time to regain that weight back, which is what I like. Um, I was never really super big on IDs anyway. Um, I always put my cutting right. I, I never had a nutritionist. All my weight cutting is always the trial and error. I've always done it myself. You know, and I've learned a lot about my body and what I can and can't get away with. So, I mean, it, it, as far as it like affected me, I mean, not at all. Typically, I I, I do what I gotta do. No matter what, you know what I mean. You, you put me, you put me in a situation where I gotta do something, and you take away some of the tools, and I'm still gonna do what I gotta do to to get ahead. You know what I mean. So it doesn't really bother me either way. I'm gonna do what they need me to do to fight. Because it's what I love, so yeah, it doesn't bother me. I don't care. What? But I do like the early weight. I like how it gives a little more time to wait back. I do actually like that. Awesome. And what's the first thing you eat when, like, when you're weighed in and you and you can eat now? Everything I eat. <laughs> <laughs> do you not have a go-to oh, thing? Right. Well, typically it's peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's my go-to. Okay. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll weigh in, I'll drink, I'll drink like the PDA light, I'll have my peanut butter and jelly, you know, I'll be chugging water, and then later on I'll go have like pasta dinner, like hey, it's pretty good, I'll carve up, and uh, you know, just, just kind of carve eat, 
my big thing is lasagna. I really love lasagna. That's usually what I eat afterwards to kind of give me some weight back and that give me some carbs. Um, but other than that, I'll eat pasta, you know, chicken, fish, stuff like that. Um, maybe some red meat sometimes. It just depends on mood on seeing where I'm at. It just depends. Awesome. Well, Vince, one last thing. I really appreciate the time. How do you see this fight playing out? How do you get the job done? I'm going for the knockout, um, either in the first round or second round. Um, I've, I've dreamed about him trying to take me down and me just stuffing him and just kind of laughing at him in the fight, being like, what are you going to do now, you know? <laughs> and I catch him. Uh, I kind of want to catch him with either a knee, an uppercut, um, something when he's shooting in, preferably to to put that stamp on on me, basically saying, "Fuck you, fuck your wrestling. This is what's gonna happen. This is an MMA fight." Awesome, awesome, well, Vince. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Of course, you can catch Vince Fischel in the co-main event of UFC Utica against Gregor Gillespie. Vince, thank you so much for your time. Uh, best of luck, June first in Utica.